Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Black Belt Bots show. My name is RJ Redden, and I am here to talk about bots all day, all night, however long you'll let me. Uh, and today's topic is about what can you do with a bot. Now, let me back up a sec. Bots are chatbots on Facebook Messenger are a form of facilitated communication. Some of the messages are automatic, some of them are live. You get to kind of pick and choose which messages come automatically and which ones that you respond to. And people use this in order to build a conversation, build trust, and build their clientele base. So that was total nutshell uh, what a bot is in case you're not familiar. And today, I would really love to talk about different uses, different ways that people are using these. Now, we do have some regular ways that folks use these. For instance, getting new, getting new customers, getting new eyeballs, bringing new people into your circle, teaching them what you're all about, uh, really letting them know what your personality is, what are your services, what are your products, that kind of a thing. Uh, so getting new eyeballs, and people do this through Facebook ads, they do this through uh, Facebook comment posts where people comment with a certain word. There are many, many ways to get your bot out there. I own that URL, by the way. Anyway, so, so getting new customers, that's a big one. Uh, that people are using. And people, a lot of times, will use content that they already have and put it into bot format. There's also using bots for customer service. We've talked about this a couple of times where you can put a button on your website that will allow people that are visiting to leave a, leave a message for you, leave a question, start a conversation, that kind of a thing. You can also use it to keep your current customer base engaged. Uh, a lot of coaches use bots to, to keep the people that are already, you know, in their programs engaged. A lot of coaching is keeping people accountable, uh, asking them about certain things, you know, what are your goals today? Uh, did, were you able to finish yesterday's goals? That type of a thing, especially with January, a lot of coaches work on January programs, programs in January, new you, new you, new year, new you type stuff. So, uh, bots are really excellent to keep people engaged if they're going through a class or going through a program. Because every step of the way, you can shoot them a different kind of message. Following up with people, all of that automatic. I set my follow-ups follow to be automatic because I don't want to have to, you know, set an alarm in my phone. Uh, it'll ring at two o'clock on Tuesday. I'm in the grocery line and I'm texting. Have you finished that thing you said you were going to finish? No. Uh, mama, don't have time for that. And you don't have time for that either. So, uh, you know, with coaches and stuff, they're keeping people engaged, keeping clients engaged. And if you're an entrepreneur that has an online class to sell, then keeping people engaged throughout that class is absolutely, it's absolutely important. Listen, you go to all the trouble of building an online class, building one that serves your people well, and then you put it up for sale, a bunch of people buy it, maybe 25% of people get to the end. Why? I'll clue you in. It's not because you're terrible. It's because people are busy. They're just busy. They got other stuff to do. Pets coming in, doing things, children coming, going, getting on buses, needing food occasionally. A lot of things happen in people's lives nowadays. A lot of people buying classes and not following through all the way to the end. Well, as somebody who builds online classes, I absolutely want people to follow all the way through to the end because I want I want to be able to keep them in my circle. Uh, I want to be able to to ask them about maybe the next uh, the next level product or the next level class. So keeping people engaged after you've got clients hugely important, and bots help that tremendously. Now there are also some kind of interesting uses of bots 
that are out there right now. People are really thinking outside of the box and being super creative with this. So, hey, Stacy, Brayuka, I have not seen you in a long time. Hello. Anyway, um, welcome to the Black Belt Bot Show. So, interesting uses of, uh, of chatbots in, uh, out there in the wild. Here's some things that I've come across. Now, number one, resist bot. Now, I don't, you know, I don't generally get political on this show. That's not my deal, uh, with the Black Belt Bot Show. However, <laughs> resist bot is the first chatbot I ever came in contact with. I didn't even know it was really a chatbot. Uh, I was just, you know, the political climate, whatever, checking out different opportunities uh, to write my Congress people about certain things. And ResistBot is excellent. Now that one is a little bit different. It's, it's, there's a, there's a messenger. You can go to their messenger page right now and get signed up um, to write your Congress people about whatever you want. Uh, you can also write different people, uh, governors, other people too. Um, you can write uh, a lot of people about your feelings on issues, which is, I think, great and beautiful for a participatory democracy. Anyway, uh, it's you can do it on Messenger or Resist Bot, but you can also do it on SMS. So you can text a number and do the exact same thing that you're doing uh, within Facebook Messenger. I think it's a really interesting application because it is awakening civic engagement in a way that people, you know, in a way that hasn't been awakened before, because it makes writing in so much easier. It, it makes some of that process much more automated. So that's an interesting political use. Uh, yes, Stacy, you must check out ResistBot. Do it. You'll like it. Um, there are other political uses as well um, in, you know, a lot of special elections going on lately to fill, you know, people with positions who got appointed to things. There are special elections going on, getting the vote out in your district. Uh, that, uh, you know, that's kind of popping up uh, in certain places right now, but in a couple of years, uh, well, and certainly, you know, midterm elections are coming up wink. And uh, a lot of things are, a lot of things are happening there. Uh, I am personally writing a, uh, or help, I'm facilitating the creation of. I'm co-collaborating with some super cool peeps down in Tennessee. Uh, and, uh, and it's a get, get the vote out bot. Uh, get registered. Uh, make sure you know where your polling place is. Uh, get there on a certain day and, you know, share this with somebody who th you think might be like-minded. Excellent stuff. Uh, excellent stuff to keep people engaged in the political process. Now, there are also, uh, here's a totally different kind of bot that I bet you haven't thought about. And one of my clients brought this to my attention. It is, uh, it is a, a, a bot that, uh, that kind of, you interact with it and it takes down what your wishes are in case you pass away unexpectedly. Now, this is something that people don't want to talk about, right? Like my wife and I, a couple of years ago, we have a Google doc or we're, well, we have, we have, we have some places that we have uh, online and off that we have stuff written down, you know, here's how you get into the accounts. If something happens, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, because the last thing that you want to happen is an emergency and you don't know what to do. Um, so this, this particular bot that I've run into, it is a one run bot. It is not, you know, uh, it, it's not one that kind of keeps people engaged or whatever, but it is a bot that asks you, you know, question by question, you know, uh, what, what this kind of stuff is. And then, uh, asks in the end, you know, where do you want to send this information? People are sharing all kinds of information in this bot about, you know, what they want to happen if some, to their loved ones, if something unexpected happens to them, you know, what their wishes are. I think that's a fantastic idea. It's really uncomfortable to talk about with somebody else, but people feel super comfortable typing it in on Messenger. That's really an interesting thing. Hey, uh, Stacy Spensley, bucket list bot. I love it. I love it so much. Yes, uh, bucket list bot. God. 
you see, you see the wheels are turning. Uh, the smoke is coming out of my ears. That might need to be written. Anyway, I'm so glad you showed up, Stacy. That's awesome. So, um, the, uh, the, 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 the wishes bot, uh, that's there. Also, uh, people are using bots. Here's another real interesting application. They're using it for therapy. Now, you and I both know, you know, possibly, I, I search the app store all the time. I'm, I'm a, I'm a geek. I'm a geek. Uh, the degrees behind me say it. I'm officially the pocket protector's coming. So, uh, there are tons of apps out there that do, uh, all kinds of therapy from the very, very kind of surface to the deeper stuff out there. Well, there are some companies getting involved in, let's just do this through messenger. Now, I think that's freaking brilliant. Why? Because if you go to all the trouble of building an app, and I've built apps before people, so I know, if you go to all the trouble of building an app, you also have to go to a lot of trouble, even if it is the most perfect, beautiful, user-friendly piece of material on the face of the earth, you've still got to get people used to going there, you know? People, uh, even people like me, I have downloaded hundreds of apps to my phone. But hundreds also get deleted because I don't use them very much. I probably have about top 10 apps on my phone and a lot of like fitness apps and different kinds of apps to keep, tra you know, trackers and trainers and all this kind of stuff. It gets used for about the month of January and then mm, <laughs> I got other things to do. Anyway, uh, Stacy says, therapy bot brilliant, but as a therapist, even one who loves tech, there are concerns to make sure you deal with it carefully in this arena. Oh, absolutely. Listen, uh, lots of, lots of things, which if you're providing, if you're a licensed provider of therapy, you know about, and those are uh, like, I don't produce these types of bots. So, uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, restrictions with certain types of bots. So good, good point, Stacy. Um, anyway, so, I think it's brilliant because if you go to all the trouble of building an app, you still have to drive people there. They still have to remember to go. A lot of, uh, a lot of people who are, you know, build apps. And I, unfortunately, I have this professional experience as well that basically depend upon notifications to bring you back and back and back and back. Okay. People are kind of tired of this method. And most people have some apps on their phone that they just, they, you know, they, they're, they're the go-to apps. Most people have less than 10 apps that they get into regularly on their phone. Guess which one is always on that list. That's right. It's Messenger. It's Messenger. So why not take something that people are usually building into an app, thousands of dollars of software people, and build it in something like ManyChat, which costs you $10 a month. It's amazing. I know a lady who built, a, you know, uh, the, the company that she works with built an entire app. It's fitness oriented. It's awesome. Problem is people, you know, unless they develop really good habits around using it, those things often just kind of lay in the background. Uh, Messenger? not in the background. Messenger's in the forefront. People's phone buzz, it's messenger. They look. It's a beautiful thing. So, <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, those are some, those are some, uh, some interesting uses. Here's another one. Quizzes. Now, uh, I have, I am working with coach Jenny on her bot, uh, and it's, it's incredibly fabulous. She has a quiz that helps you determine, uh, which, uh, which Hilda that you have. Now, Hilda is a cartoon character. Your inner irksome naysayer asked me about this book. I'll talk to you all day. Anyway, uh, there, she has an online quiz that determines which, uh, which Hilda you have. And then she has a call to action at the end of that, that puts people right into, uh, right into a bot, uh, that talks to them about Hilda, uh, talks to them further about the exact Hilda that they have. 
She really likes her quiz, and she's keeping it on the platform it's on because it's really easily shareable on Facebook. But there are people who build the entire quiz right in ManyChat. You can build uh, every question. You can build the answer. If yes, then it goes here. If no, then it goes here. You can have a score at the end. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, Stacy says Hilda must be stopped, and she will be. Uh, I'm going to have an army after her pretty soon. World domination. It's coming. Anyway, uh, very good. So uh, talking about those quizzes, you can have a series of questions, have that scored right directly within ManyChat. You don't have to mess with it. And then the person goes down uh, another sequence depending on what the score is on the quiz, where they scored highest, then they get a sequence that addresses just exactly that thing. You see what we're doing is we're creating a communication that's much more personalized. It's a total cognitive dissonance thing. Let's just address that for a second. Cognitive dissonance, when I say to you that a, a, a robot is working behind the scenes to facilitate a conversation, it's like scattering seeds on a parking lot. You know, nothing's going to grow. You know, a robot is a machine. A robot is completely impersonal. How am I using that platform to build personalized communication? Well, here it is, my friends. We no longer need to suffer from the cognitive dissonance. The facilitated part of all of this is deciding what communication you need to hear. I'm still creating the communication that you're hearing. Uh, I put in uh, the chat there, I put a link uh, to the Black Belt Bot. The Black Belt Bot will teach you what you need to know. So sign up for that bot. If you haven't experienced a bot before, sign up for mine. Promise I will not spam you because I'm just not that type of girl. Um, but what's happening here, the communication itself, it's all written by a human. It's all written by me. It's all got my personality infused in it. My emojis, my bitmoji, uh, which unfortunately can't color their hair yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, it's got my personality. It's all my communication. The automated part is when and who and who gets what message. That's all it is. Um, so uh, back to the point. I'm wandering a little bit today. I'm excited. I don't know why. I think it's because it's this new placement. Uh, I, I really love it. I need something for... Whoop, it's mirrored. I need something for this wall, though. I think I'm going to do the Bob Ross right there. Anyway, another way that you can use uh, chatbots, which is really interesting, is blogging and podcasting. So a lot of people have regularly regular shows. Black Belt Bots, 1 p.m. Central, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. A lot of people have shows that come out on a regular basis and they want their people to, you know, be able to know about that when those come out. Uh, setting up the broadcasting feature in ManyChat is a really great place uh, to let people know, hey, there's a new article out, there's a new podcast, there's a new thing, come check it out. And then they don't have to leave Messenger to be able to listen, to be able to read, to be able to watch. It's a beautiful thing. Um, Stacy says, thank creator, an RJ bot without an RJ red, would just be blah. You know, I, I don't, I, I don't even know what that would look, I, I, that just would give me a nightmare. I'm telling you. Uh, Stacy says, I already have a bot and I learned stuff from Black Belt Bot. Woo! Um, the, the knowledge ninjas are with you, my friend. Uh, they're with you. Beautiful. So what I'm getting at here is when you're thinking about uses of bots, it can go beyond getting new customers, customer service, keeping customers engaged. It can go beyond the normal. It can launch into the stratosphere of whatever your crazy creative mind comes up with. Uh, it can do this uh, because there are all kinds of bots out there. There's a place called botlist.com if you ever want to just peruse. Uh, they're all there, darlings. And uh, it is a, I, that's a great place for a Saturday afternoon for me. I'm a geek. It's what I do. Anyway, think outside of the box when you're creating yours. Stacy and I, Stacy Spensley and I had a conversation yesterday about 
blue ocean strategy versus red ocean strategy. I will nutshell this for you. Red ocean strategy is, it's like sharks in the water. You're competing with people who are already in your area doing what you're doing. And what you're doing is you're competing by refining what everybody else is doing, tweaking it, making it better, and you're fighting with all of the sharks in this ocean. Um, blue ocean strategy is this. You, you take what other people are doing, that's fine, but you think more about what you're producing creatively. You think more about the value you're producing for people. You go your own way. You may be using something that other people are doing. You may be using a same platform, whatever. Fantastic. That's great. But you are not reacting to what everybody else is doing constantly and tweaking and trying to keep your head above water. You're swimming in the blue ocean. You're doing your own thing over here. It's scary for people sometimes. It's scary to strike out off on your own. It's scary to, to do those kinds of things. But, you know, we wouldn't be solopreneurs if we played it safe the whole time. We just wouldn't be the people that we are. Hey, I'm going to quit my 40-hour-a-week job and start a 24-7 job. You know, um, we, are, we are people who are unafraid to take chances and, and make choices. And, and thinking outside of the box... Uh, when you're creating your bot is ultimately valuable because it will make you stand out against a crowd that is beginning to form, against a crowd that is beginning to build these bots for people. So, also this, when you're thinking about creating that bot, I want you to think about how you're providing value all the time. If you cannot look at that sequence and say, this is the value that I'm providing, dump it. Dump it. Start with something else. Don't just copy a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've seen this before. I've signed up for bots and people are, they're basically, uh, you know, buy my thing. Buy my thing. Uh, no, I will not buy your thing. And I am unsubbing from this thing immediately. <laughs> um, people, you know, they'll take an entire email, copy and paste it in there and uh, and be like, okay, that'll be great. No, it won't. No, it won't. There's a way to write for these. There's a cadence that needs to be followed. There's, uh, there are formulas. Uh, the folks that take my class, uh, Bot Camp Ninja, uh, the folks that take my class get, you know, instruction on, you know, these are the guidelines. This is a way to write that makes it sound like you and it makes it seem like a conversation because that's what you really, really want to the end. So, I hope that was vaguely informative. Uh, you know, um, I seek to provide value as well. I want to talk to you now about next week. Next week, it's a great week. I also want to talk to you about some rebranding that I'm doing currently. Now, I hate to let go of things. If anybody knows me, they know that I do let go of things, but only if they have the proper claw marks. You know what I'm saying? But... I've really decided to go full force, all in, everybody in the pool on this bot stuff. Uh, you know, occasionally people ask me to do other things as well. Totally fine still doing those things. Uh, but I'm really going full force into let's talk about these bots. Black Belt Bots is the new brand. I'm moving the show over to that page, Black Belt Bots. Uh, if you haven't liked that Facebook page, hey, give it a like, kids. That's where I'm going to be appearing. I'm still going to broadcast on Queen Ninja Guru, but it's basically a broadcast that's, I mean, it's a, I'm still going to post, but it's a post that's leading people back to Black Belt Bots. Uh, that's where it's all going to be at for me. Uh, that's where everything is going to be located. Uh, also thinking about changing my community around a little bit. I got some feedback this week that is slightly confusing that I'm constantly talking about bots. Uh, and yet it's not something that I really, the, the group that I, I designed is really designed to cover. So I'll be making some changes everywhere. If you're part of my stuff this week, if you're part of my world, pardon my dust. I'm under construction. And go to Black Belt Bots. Go to Black Belt Bots. Uh, like, subscribe, desecrate. 
desecrate the like button. Do this for me. Um, and, uh, and next week, the show that is where it's moving. Uh, and that's the direction that absolutely everything is moving in because you know what? It has been months now. Usually I look at a new tech thing and I get a little obsessed for a while and then I get a little bored and I go back. That has not happened for an entire six months with bots. And I am so damn excited about them. You guys, this is going to change the face of how we communicate with our customers. We want to be a part of that. A small business people, we want to be a part of that. And I know you want to be a part of it too. So Black Belt Bots going forward, that is what's happening. I want to talk to you about next week's shows as well. Tuesday. I'm going to be coming, covering something very important, and a lot of people have asked me about this. They've asked me why, how I put such personality into my bots, and I want to share some techniques with you guys. Uh, Stacy says, liked, subbed, heading to share. Fabulous! I have been a bit, bit obsessed, Stacy. I just can't stop talking about it, darling. And I won't. I refuse. Um, so, Tuesday we're going to talk about how do you put personality into your bot? How do you make it something that people like hearing from? See, here's the thing. Facebook wants you to put personality into your bot. They don't want it to be some dry, spammy copy of email. They want to use the Messenger platform. The Messenger platform has a lot of trust in the fact that when you pick up and you see that icon, you are going to be talking to somebody you care about very soon. So what Facebook has done is they've just expanded it and they've said, we want people to be able to, to talk to people and businesses that they care about. You want to be a business that people care about. You want to be a brand that people trust. It's so much easier when your bot has a little personality. I'm going to talk to you about some of the ways that I do that on Tuesday, 1 o'clock Central, everybody, on the Black Belt Bots page. Uh, Stacy says, good thing so I can get my ish together somehow again next month. Absolutely. Getting the ish together, that's what it's all about. I'm not going to lie. I don't know exactly what that means. You're going to have to clarify for me in the comments. All right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so we're going to talk about personality in your bot next week on Tuesday. And on Thursday, we have. A very special interview. Uh, Stacy Spensley is going to come by. She's had a lot of success with her bot. It has been a wonderful experience for her. And I want her to share with you kind of what her thinking is on bots and uh, how that's evolved over time, how she's using her bot to stay connected with her tons of people who are interested in what she has to offer and how she does this in a very personal way. She does some things with her bot that none of my other clients are doing. It's fascinating. I want you to hear all about it. So that's next Thursday's show. I'm going to create events uh, on the page and, and, uh, and do all that as well. So I hope you do it guys. Uh, I hope you join me because it's going to be an amazing show. Spensley is amazing. All Stacy's are Bryuka. Uh, anyway, so that is really, that's the show for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope you've gotten something out of it. And if you have, why not hit that share button? Just hit it. You know what I'm saying? Or share it with somebody specifically through Messenger that you think might be interested. I would, I would love to talk to anybody who's interested in bots. I have on my calendar space open. Half hour spaces for people who just want to talk about bots with me. It's free. It's utterly fabulous. Uh, and you can pop in there uh, when I've got some space. We can talk about bots. We can talk about maybe how you can use them in your business. We can talk about, uh, you know, what Facebook intends for this thing. Uh, we can talk about anything you want uh, concerning bots. I would love it. One to one, me, you. What could go wrong? Nothing. Uh, so, oh, get your bot on. May I say, saying, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, darling. I have been messing with bots all morning, and you are on my list to say happy birthday to. So while you're here, happy 
happy birthday. Uh, love you. Uh, Sang is, Sang is an accountability buddy of mine, and uh, I just, my life is better because you're in it, darling. Anyway, um, let's see. Uh, Stacy says, so excited. Love my bot so much. Can't wait to share all the brainstorming we've done. I know. Uh, and it keeps going. Here's what I know. What I know is that these bots are never stopping. They're not evolved. They're never, never stopping evolving for me. So I just told you a story about how I'm taking everything and I'm consolidating it into black belt bots. I've got some different bots on some different pages that I'm consolidating in. And as I'm going through them, I'm looking at, look, here's a space for improvement. Here's a space for improvement. Uh, here's a space where people are dropping off. I bet you I could do this and have it where people don't drop off. It's constantly evolving. It's constantly having more opportunities in it. I just love it to death. Um, Stacy says, Monique Hoffman, you need to watch this live. Oh, well, I love Monique. Uh, Monique is one of my people. So that's wonderful. I would love her to, I, I, I would love to, to chat with her about this. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Stacy says, Stacy, can't wait to see what you're doing. Hope you can watch live Thursday. Uh, hoping, hoping you can too. Hoping you can too. It's going to be cool great show. So darlings, uh, grasshoppers, I'm going to round it up there. Uh, expect to see some changes in the near futures in the near future. Pardon my dust. I'm just, I'm moving everything to black belt bots and, uh, I, 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 Oh, Q is in the house. Hello. Uh, hello. We're just wrapping up now, but, uh, <laughs> hello. It's wonderful to, uh, wonderful to have you. And I will talk to all of you. Uh, I will talk to all of you next week uh, on on Tuesday because it's Thursday already. I don't know how that happened. Uh, talk to you all one o'clock next Tuesday about putting personality into your bot. And until then, my friends, get your bot out there.